welcome back to the channel welcome back to the vlog we are here in new york city for another beautiful not beautiful seven days straight stretch of call this is my second to last week i ever have to do this and i'm very excited i'm even more so excited because if you remember that video i did on nanox imaging link up here where i said i was going to invest as a speculative play because i think it's a fantastic company and their technology behind their company is very impressed with me well if you invested as well after watching that video you would have a 30 dollars per share return on your investment right now which is fantastic uh it's up 30 dollars pre-market so almost a quick 2x return on your money if you just watch that video who would have thought? But yeah, this kind of this kind of stuff happens. I can't take credit for it because anytime a new startup company gets a uh, FDA clearance, their shares shoot up like crazy. Um, there's a lot of buzz behind Nanox Imaging, and yeah, they got FDA cleared, and we're in the money. But anyways. It is almost 8 a.m. right now. I'm here at the hospital I'm going to start with the first case of the day and we will see where this week takes us. All right, everybody. So I just finished uh, day one here. I'm still a little tired from the weekend. And I know I only have like a few weeks slash month and a half, two months left, but I'm like getting so burnt out and I just want this fellowship to be over. So that's just me being honest and transparent, which I try to do all the time. Nonetheless, I'll stay optimistic for the next few days this week and we'll see where it takes us. But I'm starving now, it's 7.30 p.m. and going home. All right, so just finished uh, my Tuesday now and I know I didn't like really film anything at all last night or this morning. That's because I just wasn't feeling it. Uh, I was a little like tired a little burnt out. You know, I was paged all night last night by like complete nonsense. And I didn't sleep that much and I was cranky and I didn't want to film because I didn't want you all to think that I'm just like complaining over here. But this is just fellowship and this is what we signed up for. But I'm so ready for it to be over. It is 4.20 in the morning. I got paged like 30 minutes ago and again now for a patient that was transferred from outside hospital to us and now admitted to our service. So I had to put in a whole bunch of lab work, you know, all this stuff. And uh, yeah, don't need to go into the hospital yet, but I have to take care of this. And what is up everybody? It is now Wednesday. I just finished my first case of the day, which was a bilateral renal artery angiogram through the wrist, of course. And now I have another renal angiogram and possible embolization or blocking off of the blood vessels supplying a renal tumor, which is so rewarding. It's one of my favorite procedures as well. The last night was interesting. Got called a whole bunch about a patient that was transferred from another hospital and had to deal with the whole transfer process and making sure the patient had labs and all this stuff. It's kind of unfortunate because in IR, there is no service that's in the hospital. So when we admit these patients to our service, I am the service. There's no intern, there's no night resident. It's just me. So I have to do everything a first year resident would do all the way up until something a fellow would do or even an attending almost at this point. So you really kind of do the whole thing versus in surgery, there's always an intern or a resident on overnight. So that's just kind of how it is for now. I don't know if that'll ever change in the future, but it's definitely a negative to IR because we can't have a functional service because the first three years of IR are basically devoted to learning diagnostic radiology. So we'll never fully have like interns in IR. So the more clinical we get, which is the way we are going in this field, the more responsibilities will be relied on the fellows because they're the ones doing everything. So I was up all night last night. I woke up probably three o'clock the first time and then four o'clock and then I just stayed up. So basically I just couldn't go back to sleep for some reason and here I am. Two more cases to go. Maybe there'll be an add-on later, I don't know, but I'm on call again tonight. I switched with my co-resident, so he'll cover tomorrow. So I'll have basically 24 hours off tomorrow, which will be awesome, but let's get through today. All right, everybody, I am home now. Uh, it's still Wednesday, by the way. Wait, yeah, it is still Wednesday, by the way. Um, 
Oh, look at that nice sunset. Let me see if I can get that in picture here. Ooh, look at that nice sunset. All right, anyways, so I'm going to meet my wife's good friend, Erica, and I guess she's my friend too, and her boyfriend, Andrew, who's also my friend, and we are going to be having wings tonight. And might I add, this is the first time in my entire life I've ever been out to have only wings. Like, the first time ever. So we'll see how it goes. Today is Thursday, and as you can see, I am not at the hospital, but it is almost 11 a.m. and I'm walking Andrana to work today because, oh, almost stepped on dog poop. Today I have off, like I mentioned prior. It was supposed to be last night, but I switched, and today I have the entire day off, so I figured I would walk Andrana to work, hang out, enjoy the beautiful day, and I also have to go downtown today, get some fingerprints and all that stuff because I have to get a new license, more on that later, and we'll see where the day takes us. All right, so I just finished with my fingerprints. Uh, that was arguably one of the weirdest places I've ever been to in my life. <laughs> it was some weird, like, industrial, uh, like, basement setting in the uh, garment district over in, like, the 30s and on the west side, and it was just odd. It was, like, dingy. It was completely dark. They like lead you down this whole hallway. There's plastic everywhere. I mean, I didn't know if I was like going to get attacked or get my fingerprints done, but it ended out okay. You just gotta trust in the process. So now I'm headed home. I'm going to continue to track the stock market today. Did a few trades this morning and uh, see what's popping towards the end of the day. This springtime weather is perfection. I don't even know why I'm wearing a jacket right now. It's a little chilly this morning, but it's beautiful now. Also, again, I apologize for the randomness of this vlog, but you know, you're here for my week on call. This is my week on call, even though I'm not on call right now. Oh my gosh, what an absolute disaster right now. So it's eight o'clock, just finished an emergent bleed. And guess what? I still have two more emergent cases to do. So let's just say it is going to be a long night. One is a pulmonary embolectomy and the other is yet another bleed. So here we go. I'm gonna go home and eat real quick and then come back and take care of all this stuff. Okay, so I'm not going home because my patient just got here in the ER. And also while I went to the ER, I got a mass text message about another pulmonary embolism so that's three on the day one we did this afternoon one is being transferred from our sister hospital to our hospital which i'm going to do tonight and then we just got another activation so i don't mind doing the cases but i do like getting sleep and also like what am i supposed to do tomorrow after being up for 24 hours today i i can't function I don't know how I'm still alive right now, but it is currently 2 a.m. and I got here at 7.20 a.m. So as you can see, this is a pretty long day, but I just finished both cases and now I'm getting an Uber and headed home to hopefully get some uninterrupted sleep. And just like that, we are back at it again for this Saturday. Adventure. Adventure? Adventure. So it is now 11.30. I slept till, I went to bed at like 2.30 after I showered and all that stuff. And now it is 11.30, so I probably woke up at eight from a page, had a bite to eat, wrote some notes before I go see a patient's now, and I'll finish those notes now. And then now I'm here, I have to do a whole bunch of just floor work right now, like remove sheaths, remove catheters, pressures, all this kind of stuff, you know, normal intern level stuff. And uh, weekend's almost over. All right, so it is almost three o'clock now. I uh, took care of all of my duties, wrote all my notes, saw all my patients, pulled all my sheets out of groins and did all this stuff. And somehow I'm like not that tired. I barely had any coffee today, but I am going to head home now and just kind of take the rest of the call day from home. Okay, 
So it's Monday morning. It's about to start raining. And John and I are getting coffee and a wrap right now before it starts raining. And I have today off because it is a post-call day. The weekend ended up actually pretty good. I'm gonna have to go in once, other than that craziness on Friday night. So, I mean, I consider that a win in my book. And the best part about all of it is I only have one more week of all of this call stuff. So literally, one more week, I have to do this stuff. As always, make sure you smash like, subscribe, button, follow me on Instagram, and TikTok if you don't already. Hope you enjoy this kind of video. I have one more here while in New York City, and I'm not stopping doing these when I start my job. Speaking of job, we'll talk about that on another video. I'll see you guys soon.